Now, hundreds of people led by friends and family of the late British reggae star Smiley Culture marched on Scotland Yard this afternoon demanding a public inquiry into his death in police custody. The singer's family were told he had stabbed himself through the heart during a police raid, a version of events they don't believe. The police complaints watchdog told this programme they would carry out a thorough investigation into what happened but asked people not to rush to judgement before the facts were clear. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Andy Davis. No justice! No justice! They marched through London this afternoon to the chance of no justice, no peace. On their posters, the question, who killed Smiley Culture? The police say he did, that the reggae musician from London plunged a knife into his own chest a month ago. But it's a statement which many here asserted beggars belief. If you said to us that he accidentally fell on the knife, we might, have, we might have swallowed that. But to tell us that he killed himself, he stabbed himself, don't insult our intelligence. The story does not add up. We know the story doesn't add up. And we're not stupid, so we are going to march and protest because the police cannot continue to pull the wool over our eyes. It happened on the morning of March the 15th. The 48-year-old, whose real name was David Emmanuel, was at home in Surrey. At 7 a.m., four police officers arrived with a search warrant. He'd been due to stand trial on conspiracy to supply cocaine. At around 8 a.m., a cousin saw him with the police. He was in a calm demeanor. He shrugged his shoulders flippantly when my cousin asked him, what's going on? The police were around him. He was in his home, in his dressing gown. He said, I didn't know. I don't know what's going on. She went and dropped my cousin, her daughter, to school, came back 20 minutes later. Smiley's dead. It's been reported that he'd asked the police if he could go and make himself a cup of tea, whereupon, as one of the officers present would later testify, he picked up a carving knife and stabbed himself. The Independent Police Complaints Commission is now investigating the incident. Smiley Culture's nephew told Channel 4 News the family simply cannot accept the police's version of events. Personally, he can speak, and I'm sure I speak for the rest of the family and the greater community. We don't believe it. We don't believe it. Smiley died whilst under their custody. They had a duty of care to protect my uncle. They failed miserably. As a reggae star, Smiley Culture came to prominence in the mid-80s. He presented a Channel 4 youth programme called Club Mix. He's widely credited with having been one of the pioneers of British rap music. And he had two hit records, one of them the hugely popular Police Officer. His lyrics were often comical, but as one commentator put it, he brought the British black experience to the charts, and in the same decade in which riots had in part defined it. Last weekend marked the 30th anniversary of the Brixton riots, and the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, spoke of huge progress having been made since then. But for some of those who've been intimately involved in developing those still delicate police-race relations, this particular case is proving deeply unsettling. Eleven days ago, a meeting of London's questions. Metropolitan Police Authority had to be adjourned for several minutes after supporters of Smiley Culture's family started shouting from the auditorium. I'm going to adjourn the meeting. I'm adjourning the meeting for five minutes. And there is a really, really strong link between the way in which the black community is policed and the kinds of demonstrations we see today. You cannot disassociate the two. So sensitive has this issue become that the Independent Police Complaints Commission has unusually gone public repeatedly with assurances over just how comprehensive their investigation into this matter will be. I know what it feels like to be in those situations where a uh, community are angry, suspicious and upset. Uh, and I've always been of the view that uh, communities should, should feel free to express uh, uh, their feelings. It doesn't change anything as far as the investigation is concerned. I, my intention is that we will still get to the, tr to the truth. The IPCC says forensic evidence gathered at the scene will be key to this investigation, but it will take time. The family of Smiley Culture, meanwhile, has called for a public inquiry.